yeah all right uh, so now comes the time we'll be creating the super user so now we'll run the command python manage.py create super user enter okay now there won't be any error and it will say username okay you can give anything uh, i'll give uh, we'll give it admin so everyone will be on the same page so admin uh, email address you can skip for now or you can enter and password you can give uh, it won't display the password okay because it's a password so type it it will take it uh, type it again uh, it won't display okay and it, if it is not passing the validation of password you can bypass it okay by saying yes why okay if your password is not strong enough it will give you a message bypass uh, the validation and create so you should say yes because we are testing we don't want okay to get into the complex situation right now so yes and it will say super user created basically your okay admin level privileges user is created everyone reach this point then we'll continue ahead no sir in my case it is still asking to migrate and not creating any user mm -hmm. okay uh, okay we'll uh, it is still asking you to migrate okay we'll we'll see that we'll see that uh, okay any other no issue so uh, okay uh, how could i break the server control c it is not getting out then try, try control, control shift C, try control z try control uh, print break uh, or control if there is no break button in your uh, on your keyboard then try control shift b may also work no sir oh my god uh, it should work um better close than open again uh that is quite uh somebody is suggesting control shift c can you try control plus shift plus c yeah control shift okay till then uh okay we'll see the issues in a while because i think we are in a good flow now i'll we'll come back to uh the ones who have got the error in a while uh so now we have created a super user okay uh now i can run the server okay if i do this it will it should work properly and uh, once i run the server i go to the web browser okay and now instead of books uh, what we'll do is we'll have admin we'll be using admin app spelling is wrong not to worry okay yeah so this is too much of zoom so what you should put in your web browser is uh, simply localhost slash admin admin is provided by django okay itself the web framework we have not created this it is django's own thing so quite helpful here you can give the super user details that you have just now created and you can log in and you can see nice beautiful uh, interface for administrator you can actually do a lot of editing delete a lot of things you can add users you can do you don't need to now work on the from the command prompt you can create another user over here don't do that right now i'm just showing it you can later try it out because initial is this yeah so everyone uh, should reach this point those who have not reached will now take okay uh, i understand what is the issue with it okay who has any issue uh, yes yeah, sir i had yeah 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 you can uh, i'm uh, sharing share with you. yeah, yeah. Right, there yeah. should not be space space between create uh, and super user it's a one single command okay create super user is single one single one yeah okay yeah it's created yeah it's right. okay you can try okay anyone else uh, has any issue can let us know what will be username admin right when you are going going to the site site uh, browser uh, yeah the the one you have created on the command 
prompt admin only we have created right yeah and then password. admin the same same username same password exactly so you will have to use the username and password that you typed in when putting in the command if you uh, follow along this same, which user id and password we need to enter sir Right. You, when you, you type you in create size. super user command, it asks you for a username, then it asks you for a password, then it asks you for more information, right? So uh, I pass make, admin only. Hmm. If you followed the same thing, ma'am, then you use the same thing. There could be people who have typed in different usernames. So just as a generic rule, you will have to use the same username and password that you typed in when creating the super user. Uh, it is good practice to make a note of the username and password mm -hmm. in case in the rare case that you've forgotten which password you typed in just run the same command again with a different username like like a unique username and this time make a note of it and then log in so you can have multiple super user also which is why you can run the command multiple times it is fine so if you've forgotten your username or or are constantly getting wrong password wrong username kind of an error Please just run it again. Uh, type in a thing. Type in a username and password that you can remember, and then try to log in to the web interface. Uh, yeah. Mm. So someone has asked that uh, we we were told that we could bypass the password in the command line interface when running the command. But it will not allow me to log in without the password. Yes, so this is a common issue, uh, which is why giving the password is useful. Uh, even though you are allowed to bypass, it is not recommended because the web interface does not, uh, the web interface and the authentication system itself does need a password. So in such a case, again, you can just create another user. This time, make sure that you type in a proper username that you can remember and a password that you can remember then go to the web interface and then type it in again then you should be able to log in yes yes and mega uh, it's uh, basically a password uh, by it, you are bypassing the validation not the password you have to enter the password it's just the validation of whether your password is good enough strong enough and follows okay certain standard like it has some characters and all so that you uh, you should bypass that is what is okay what we are doing not uh, to completely bypass the password okay yeah uh, sir yeah. what is the link of the web server that we admin it is local host 8000 slash admin instead of books now you will be using the admin app okay admin admin. yeah uh, can you please repeat after username i think shruti you got it or any Issue still there. Yes, you can create more than one super user. Yes, you need the run server command running. Whenever you have to access anything in the browser, your run server command should be running. Otherwise, you will not be able to see anything in the browser. So after you have done everything, when you are trying to access something in the browser, first run the run server command, then go to the browser. Anyone uh, has issue or? I have to go like books. I have to run running. Not, not books. Admin, admin. Books is what we created. Now we are using the default uh, app provided by Django. That is admin. So we'll use their uh, URL, which okay. is already present. Oh, Shruti Singh uh, lost the train. Okay, I'll uh, tell the others. I'll just quickly uh, in a minute walk through it. I think. I, you can see the screen. So nothing much. We we are creating a super user. Okay. Uh, so in your library management, okay, this is a directory where your okay manage.py file is there. Okay, first thing you need to run is this command python manage.py migrate. This will create the database default databases that uh, your default apps have. This is the apps which are already present. So run this commands one. Once you are done with this, the second command I'll tell you. So minutes. Yeah, should be done with this command. And, uh, yes, uh, sir. Done. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Now uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Now next command you will run is create python manage dot create. 
super user. Okay, no spaces. Okay, simply means uh, create super user. No spaces between create super and user. This is the command and create your admin user. Is it different one second one sir? No 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 no. No uh, means uh, what second one sorry. When already we have created the uh, super user. No so this is I'm repeating. So he, uh, he you are repeating, repeating okay. it for people who have not done. Okay it. okay sorry sir. Mm -hmm. Though you can create uh, infinite super users with a different username. Okay. <laughs> sir. Yeah. So once I uh, put that uh, migrate uh, command, after that they are showing an operation to pop up, apply all migration. There is no like uh, what you are mentioned like uh, before you are showing that get because your thing. migrations were already done yesterday, which is why you didn't get that output. Pratham okay, had okay. not done his migration yesterday, so he did it today. Yeah. You okay. can you can just run create super user by default. So okay, if I run so. migrate now, you get this error. Yes, uh, error, same sorry, this, is, this is message, not an error. Sorry. Uh, just like the same yeah. messages. Yeah. So because uh, now we both have upright uh, uh, migration. So yeah. Okay. okay uh, yes. Uh, so should Shruti uh, got this? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now you can run the server and you can check on admin page. Localhost colon 8000 slash admin. You can log in and you can explore. Yeah. Okay. I, I observed one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, once I run it, uh, uh, I, I need to log in and I logged in. When I uh, close that window, it is not asking me again to log in. Yeah, yeah, because uh, there is also one app over here, session. It maintains your session till the time your browser is on. Yeah. So it will maintain, preserve your session. There is some uh, time, life time for that also, life cycle of session. So it will maintain it till the time you log out. It won't kill the session. Okay, sir. This, yeah. sir. Mm -hmm. um, opening localhost uh, colon eight oh eight slash admin means site cannot be reached. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so I'll uh, copy paste in this chat. So this is how uh, your URL looks. Exactly. Say once. My super users can do many things. It can uh, modify your content. Uh, uh, yeah. So we can use any email address. Uh, any? Yes. No, 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 no. Any email address. So yeah, email. Uh, you can put anything. You can uh, skip email if you want. Email is not compulsory. Uh, okay. So. Uh, Super user basically, uh, uh, yeah, you can do any operation on you have the permission to delete user, you have permission to delete book entry that is there, okay, in the application. Uh, it has all the rights, all the privileges. That is why uh, it is super user, not simply uh, only about authentication or anything, it has all the rights. It can, okay, uh, manipulate any object in your. Uh, application. So, yeah. Sir, once yeah. I put that create super user, after that they are asking username, I put it as admin. After that they are asking email address, I put it as email address. After that they are asking password. Mm -hmm. Password you have once to enter. The, yeah, once I put the ent uh, entering the password, it's not uh, taking. No, it, it yeah, is taking, it won't show because it's a password. It doesn't show up it because doesn't. it is not supposed to show up. Uh, yeah, but the it. typing is being registered, so you have to be careful when you type. So be sure okay. of what you are typing, and press enter. It will take it. It will take it into consideration. Okay. So uh, before uh, I stop, okay, uh, a couple of things. Uh, so everyone, uh, kindly, uh, okay, back to the back to the screen. I'm sharing. So screen is uh, visible, right, for all. Yeah. Yeah, so let us clean this. Yeah, now uh, there is always this. Okay, how to remember the command run server, create super user, migrate, make migration bot. So I would suggest this is how you can 
check what all commands are available for manage.py. You can simply do Python space manage.py enter. Okay, and if you do that, it will give you list of all the commands available for different app. Okay, so run server is there. Okay, there are many. Okay, uh, we definitely can't look at all. So, and they have their own purpose. We have migrate over here, make migrations. And okay, these are Django things. Uh, then in auth app, we have create super user. Okay, so this is the command that we use. Then it gives us list of available commands for your reference. So you don't have to, uh, in case you ever have some, okay, forget it or you don't remember or one small space, spelling, something. You can always, okay, use this. Okay, Python space manage dot py and press enter. You get list of the available commands. Okay, this is just the start. There are so many commands and, uh, Okay, you will be using it as per your requirement. It is not necessary to use everything, just as per your requirement. Yeah. So this is one thing I wanted to share. And uh, okay, last thing uh, is right now, if you see your project directory, you see a file has been created automatically, db.sqlite3. Everyone has that file. I'm sure all will have the, that this file, db.sqlite3. Yes, sir. Yeah. So from where does this file come? Okay. So what is happening? You go to settings. Uh, we don't have to go. I've already settings open. So if you see your settings.py and if you check the database config, uh, where it is. Yeah. Yeah. So here we have database. Okay. Information. So this is default default means we have not configured anything by default django is done for us it is using sqlite 3 engine backend engine okay so uh, by default sqlite 3 will be used you can use postgres okay sql you can use mysql okay so you are free to use different backend but yeah again you need to know how to handle because if you use mysql you will have to enter password authentication port number uh, not uh, basically, okay, uh, what do you say? Uh, complete details, but at least at what port your uh, MySQL is running and all those things. Okay, so the simplest is SQLite 3, which is good for development purpose. But when you definitely, okay, deploy your website, you will definitely feel the need of MySQL. Okay, so yeah, just an information. So the file. SQLite, okay, obviously creates a file. Your all content is in this file, db.sqlite3. So that magical file, okay, has been created because you have mentioned it, because the Django has mentioned it in settings. If you change the name, it will do not do it now. This is just for your understanding. Do not do anything now, okay, because still uh, we have to continue with few things uh, right now. So db.sqlite3 will, okay, it is the file that will be created in which all your DB information will be there. I mean to say table and all. Okay, so uh, don't do this. I'll only uh, I'll do this for now because just to show you. Um, so if you if I check this file, okay, what is inside it? So I have started my SQLite. Okay, and I'll do dot tables. It shows me the tables present. Auth user, see here. It is there. There are many other tables which Django needs to. So Django session is also there. That is why even if you close and you restart, uh, it is still it still preserves the session in the web browser. So many things are there. Uh, uh, and if I do select star from auth user, okay, I can see. Okay, this is the password which is obviously uh, hashed. Uh, so we can't understand it, but this is the name of my user admin. Okay, and these are the days, uh, sorry, date, time created and all. The last login, all those details will be there. Fine, uh, this is just uh, uh, information to show you, okay, that how, okay, things are happening behind the scene. Uh, anything that, uh, yeah, you all want to ask, yeah. Sir, site cannot be reached. Site 
uh, one second uh, arvind uh, you just do python uh, manage dot py and press enter okay and uh, python space manage dot py will give you all the available com commands django documentation is the best uh, means i have always referred only one okay thing that is django doc i have not searched anything else uh, no other thing uh, uh, no other resources were required for me personally but then there are uh, other books also i think ankit uh, is very much uh, aware about it uh, different yeah maybe ankit can tell you during his se session but i would say uh, uh, best is uh, the django documentation on the official website uh, it's very good everything is covered in it uh, using uh, jinja templates as well uh, how to use the templating language um yeah so page not found page not found uh, what is the page you are trying to access uh, you can try try whether your server is running or not please check and then okay uh, site cannot be reached uh, run server okay with this uh, I, i'll stop thank thank you 